All right, so today we're gonna be talking about three-man free-for-all and four-man free-for-all. It's basically the same format, just with an extra person. Let's talk about why this deck is the best. This deck is the best late game because of its just infinite power. This is just some footage of 3v3, and I'm gonna show you some highlights, and I'm gonna talk about in-depth strategy to the deck. First thing I did, took out the counter spells because early game I didn't want to piss an aggro deck off by countering one of their spells and have them attack me instead of the other person. Late game, they're not really useful anyways because each of your other spells are just so huge. Like, thievery just take, you know, two, three permanents. I mean, time walk just take an extra turn. Uh, panoptic mirror into call to mind into anything. I mean, just every single card in your deck is so powerful. All right, so what we're doing here is you see this aggro deck swings at me a few times, and then, like, they're kind of targeting me. He's, like, making me discard. The other guy's attacking me. They're kind of teaming up on me. So really, it's 2v1, which is fine, because they're going really slow, and the other guy isn't really ballsy enough to swing in on me, which is fine, but I'm about to take off here pretty quick. And since these guys are so newbie, they haven't milled their decks down to 60, they don't know what I'm about to do because they don't understand the, the format. But what I'm about to do is drop out Time Warp, put an extra mana down for free pretty much. It's like, it's like a green Rampant Growth except it's blue and it's late game. And it also combos with every other card that you have. So whenever I draw a time warp, I take, I use it right away. No reason not to in my mind, like, it's the best spell in the deck, by far. Yes, I would like an extra turn. Anyways, I beat these guys through a mechanic that I usually don't use. Um, usually I just take infinite turns around 7 or 8 mana drop. Even if I don't have Panoptic Mirror, I can cast through time infinite turns really easily. And as long as I get to the ninth mana drop and I've read a replicate, I can take over the game pretty easily. So there's so many combos that work with time walk, and there's, there's so much that they, they just can't do. They just can't do anything. How I make this combo execute is I bribery, twin cast into the soldier guy, and then I kick red of replicate it and swing for their life total both times, and they just don't have enough strength in their deck to compete with that. And even if they did have enough strength to compete with that, I could just use my other win condition, taking infinite turns, and then eventually they wouldn't have strength to deal with that. So for an overall win-loss record, I'd say I probably played 30 or 40 matches, and I've lost two. And the only, th the only reason you ever lose is because the other two guys on the other team realize what deck you're playing, and they understand how powerful it is, and they gang up on you. But yeah, that's just one cool format in the game. And I figured I would give you the tips for free. And I'm not charging this time. I don't think I'm charging last time or next time. So if you want to stick around, you can press the subscribe button. And I'll teach you a whole bunch of cool shit that other pros don't teach you because they're afraid you're going to use it and get good. But we know that's not going to happen. Alright guys, keep it real. Keep gaming.